Hey, what's up guys? Tanner Slays coming at you guys with another singles uh, gameplay breakdown commentary. And this was the second map against the 36 and 1 kid that I beat a little while ago on Scrapyard. So uh, getting into the gameplay, uh, I have the bomb. I'm using an ACR because I like to uh, not really play this map so fast. I'm um, not really that fast of a player to just run around in singles. I like to go on top just to get an overview of the map. Uh, so I'm going to go to this generator here. Don't see anything. So I'm going to go back inside of this little A warehouse now I'm looking back uh, to my spawn to see if he's actually rushing me um, this spots pretty bad because um, if he was in the a warehouse building my back would be showing so that's why I looked from the first position that I saw I don't see anybody no signs of him uh, coming in behind me so I'm basically just gonna uh, look around everywhere run on top of this generator so my ankles don't crack so he doesn't know where I am See him running around in the middle map and I'm taking him out so uh, I really like jumping on that generator because uh, a lot of people will just you know go down the ladder and that'll waste time and you gotta turn your back to their side or go back all the way down the stairs and it's just so much long Switching longer side. like time consuming so uh, you just jump on top of that generator and then jump to the ground and your feet don't make a, a sound whatsoever so um, I like like I said I like getting an overview of the map so I'm gonna be going up top of here on top of this map just because um, I can see if he rushes B or uh, I can see if he goes to top A in my spots and I can easily get a shot on him or um, if he just kind of runs down the middle and just does something you know that I wouldn't expect so I don't see anything B side, don't see anything A warehouse side, so it makes me feel that he's already by, and he is. Now I did make a mistake here, I meant to jump on the railing, uh, but I did miss. So I didn't see him run back, so he is somewhere either in A warehouse or somewhere you know, around those crates or generators, whatever you guys want to call them. Uh, he's back there in that area, so uh, I'm going to check inside this warehouse, there's nothing here, so I know that he's back here. Now this was kind of stupid to me, I don't know what I was doing, like I thought I could kill him with my PP2000, I don't know what I was thinking, but... Uh, his spot is pretty interesting. It's, it's basically a 50-50. Um, if I went around the other way where you know I cracked my feet, I probably would have found him and killed him. Uh, so that spot's kind of not the best, but uh, you know he did pull it out there because I did kind of backtrack and he was already looking there. So uh, he had the heads up, which is why I didn't even land a shot on him and just died immediately. So uh, I'm gonna go through the middle this time, mix it up a little bit. And, uh, you know, he's using a UMP, so I know that he is possibly going to be rushing around. So I'm going to wait for him to see if he rushes through the middle. Uh, I don't see anything right now. And uh, I'm going to check around the other way, B-side, so he's not flanking our spawn. Now uh, I'm going to go to the top of the A warehouse now and just get, you know, another overview of the map. And I'm going to be looking uh, basically in every other spot that I looked uh, before. You know, I can see A, those barrels where he killed me inside the A warehouse. Now seeing if he's looking around in my spawn again to see if he's flanking. I don't see anything yet. I really like this spot because your back is covered. Like I said, if you look out the window way, like I'm looking down now, your back is shown, and uh, they can easily take you out anyway from air a side or uh, on top of that, um, you know, middle I don't know plat or generators up there, if you will. Uh, so I'm gonna basically be checking around everywhere. Now I'm gonna be moving over B side. Now I'm not gonna try and break any windows. I was thinking I was about to plan on jumping on that car to get down, but uh, I do encounter him here. Uh, on top of the generators or plats, whatever you guys want to call it, and uh, throw a really good nade. Now, I don't throw a stun grenade, and I don't know what my shots were doing right there. My aim was clearly above the snow on top of that generator, but every time when I shot, the damn snow would fly up in the air. But uh, if he would have thrown a nade first rather than shooting at me, I probably would have died. That's why I threw my nade immediately, just because uh, if you can land a good nade and if you throw yours first, uh, you're going to kill them first. So uh, don't waste any time if you see anybody, if they're up there like that. You know, if he jumped down from anywhere, I'm sure he would have died. Uh, so that's why I threw the nade instead of a stun. Now I'm going to be mixing up using the UMP. Now this is a little sketchy spot. Uh, I'm going to give my reason for the spot. So he rushed A last time, so I'm you thinking he might do the same. The but uh, after I'm not seeing anything, and it, you know, after so, what, 20 seconds after the game just started, I'm going to be looking in behind me because I don't know where he's going to be at. Uh, he didn't rush A. Uh, as fast as he did last time so I'm gonna be basically uh, checking out the A warehouse see if I can see anything with this UMP silencer I kinda put myself at a disadvantage now uh, so I'm gonna be running around now I don't see him rushing A so my first instinct is he's gonna be going B so I'm gonna slowly you know crouch in here try to make less noise as possible 
and check the B-bomb. Now, I'm going to get into a spot here where it's, uh, you guys could possibly think that I'm camping, but I'm going to explain myself here. So, I'm basically walking into this corner. Now, I've died in this corner in team so many times. I'm going to speed up the clip because I actually am here for a little while. But, as you guys can see, I can see the A warehouse, the A generators over there, the left window, that basically on B. And if people go up to the right of the stairs, I can see him. But, uh, he does plant A, but this is good because I can, I can run out to middle map. And if I didn't see him run this way, then it, that limits to me. Uh, that he's over there on the A-bomb or somewhere in the A-warehouse like on my side So I'm gonna basically just check in where the bomb is and see uh, where he's gonna be at because wherever the bomb is planted That's where his direction is probably going to be 80% of the time. So I'm gonna pick up the bomb And I don't see anything um, and I see him run by right here and uh, I end up taking him out So uh, basically you want to limit yourself of what you have to look for uh, that's basically how you win singles, you know, you gotta know parts on the map where uh, you can see where they run if they plant the bomb, you always wanna be in the middle, you, you just gotta learn different parts of the map just to uh, limit, you know, where the other guy is gonna be if he does plant the bomb, you know, if you guys can just sit between the bombs and then kill him every time when he goes to the bombs, then that's awesome, but... Now here, uh, I'm going to mix it up and just go rush kind of a little bit farther in the mid. Still using this UMP. Now this guy's got nothing to lose. You know, he's down 3-1. This is second map. So I'm expecting that he's going to rush. And in the end, he actually does and uh, end up taking him out. So I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you guys want to see more commentaries like this, let me know. And I